right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Supernova, which is part of the Pulsar gun line, along with the Polaris. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the weapon. And right off the bat, you can tell that this is definitely one of the longer guns in Spiral Knights. And the barrel kind of has that graded look to it. In the middle there, we have the energy source with a yellow glow around it. Near the end of the gun, there's that little energy tank. And on either side of the gun, there's a yellow and black checker pattern. So overall, the gun looks pretty sweet, and it definitely goes with any white-themed costume. And the Supernova's basic attack consists of three energy pellets that expand as they move farther away from their firing point. The gun's charge attack is basically an instantly expanded normal shot, except it does deal more damage. And as you can see, when those shots explode, they pretty much look like a bomb explosion which is pretty sweet. And before we go any further into the video, we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the Supernova's stats and features. So first off, it's extremely important to know that the Supernova is dealing pure normal damage. Secondly, the gun deals some great knockback, which we'll touch more on a little bit later. And the gun's shots are also dynamic, both in form and how they affect monsters. Now, since the supernova is dealing pure normal damage, that means that we'll be dealing average damage to every monster in Spiral Knights. And right here in this instance, with each expanded shot, we're getting 139 damage, which is actually pretty decent. And the thing about normal damage is that we'll never have to worry about dealing horrible damage, but we'll never be able to deal great damage. And now we're going to take a look at how distance affects our damage with this weapon. So right off the bat, we're standing pretty close to this lumber and we're dealing 71 damage. Now as we move farther away and allow the shot to expand, it's dealing 111 damage. So if you want to use this gun to its full potential, you need to have a little bit of distance between you and your target. And we didn't really get a sense of the knockback in the last shot, but in this one, you can really see that as these shots expand, they also deal some great knockback. And this feature is definitely useful if you have an enemy or group of enemies that you don't want to get near. Now, I also found the Supernova's expanded shots to be pretty helpful in staggering enemy attacks. And as you can see right here, the puppy's about ready to open up its mouth a couple times, and the expanded shot closes it. So, after watching the video, if you feel that you'd like to get your hands on a Supernova, you want to follow this crafting path. So, first off, you'll want to get your hands on a Pulsar, which you can buy from Brinks the Token Trader for 15 Bark Modules. After that, you can take your Pulsar to a Heavy Pulsar, they can take your heavy to a radiant pulsar. And finally, you can take your radiant pulsar to a supernova. And thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in Spiral Nights.